How are you? I'm Mariana. Today we are going to understand how to represent numbers. So, Mr. Gonzalez, can you help us? Okay, thank you, Mariana, for helping me with the introduction. So, let's continue. As Mariana said, today we will work with an important topic, and the name is how to represent a number. There are different ways, different ways like expanded for base 10 blocks, place value, word, and standard for them. So let's start with the first. What is the name of the first? Perfect. Standard for. So what means that? That means that we have to write the numbers in the normal way. For example, 527, 72, 1,269, and finally 416. This is the standard form. When we write or when we re so in this case. We will work with the next one. The name is place value. Very good. Now we have three different columns. The first is ones or units. The second one is tens and hundreds. So we have to locate the numbers in the specific place. Because it's not the same when I locate one in tens or one in one. Because when I locate the one in tens, that means 10. But if I locate the one in ones, that means one. So that is the difference. So the first number, five, two, and seven. That means this part. Seven ones, two tens, and five hundred. What is the name of the number? 527. The next example. We have the first. And five. Six ones. One ten. And four hundreds. What is the name of this number? 416. Very good. Let's continue with the next example. First number. The second one and the last one. So nine ones, six tens, and three hundreds. The name of the number is three hundred sixty-nine. Very good. The other example. We have just two digits. One of them is ones, two ones, and the other is tens is seven seven tens very good now we have a big number in this example we have four columns ones tens hundreds and thousands so we have to locate this this is the less value now the next one this and the greatest the greatest in this example is the thousand so we have six ones, three tens, two hundreds, and one thousand. The name of this number is one thousand two hundred thirty-six. Very good. Now let's continue with another different way to represent a number. The name is in word. So here we have the number, this number. And we have to write in word 500 the first, 20 and 7. So, what is the number? 527. Very good. The next one. What What is the name of this? What is? Could you repeat? Okay, let's check. 416. 
Very good. The next example. This is the number. And what is the name? 369. 369. Very good. What we have in the next example? Okay, we have the short number. That is 200. Very good. The next one. Oh, the greatest. 1236. That is the name of the number. 1236. The next example. What is the next example? Expanded four. Very good. What means that? That means that I have my name, my number, but I have to expand. So I have to separate the hundreds, the tens, and the units. And when I separate, I have to put zeros according with the position. For example, that is equals to seven. Can you see the same seven? Because it's one, so I have to put just one number. The next one, plus two. Because two is in the place of the tens, I have to put two numbers. The number two, another number. What number can you think that is this number? Very good. It's zero. Perfect. Let's continue with the next one. Plus. What is the number in this case? 5 and because this is in the 100, there are 3 numbers. The units, the tens and the hundreds. So, how many zeros I have to uh, locate next to 5? How many? Very good, 2. So, the expanded for to 527 is equals to 500 plus 20 plus 7. That is the way. The next example. So, that is equals, I separate the numbers, 6 plus 1. How many zeros I have to put? Very good, 1 plus 4. How many zeros? Perfect, 2 zeros. So, 416 is equals to 400 plus 10 plus 6. Very good. So, in this case, we have the next number. That is equals to, again, separate the numbers, 9, just 9, plus 6, and how many zeros? Very good. 1 zero. Plus, and how many zeros? Very good, two. So, the next example, 72. That is equals to two plus seven. And how many zeros? Very good, one zero. The next example. That is equals to six plus three. How many zeros? I have to put next to three. Very good, one zero. Plus two. How many zeros? How many? Very good, two zeros. Plus one thousand. How many zeros I have to put next to one? Very good, three zeros. So the first number or the unit doesn't have zeros the next one zero, the next two, the next three, and continue if you have a greater number. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Hey guys, please like the video, write comments, and don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring for notifications. I wait for you in the next class. Bye bye.